to be so happy, but without you here, I feel so low. I watch you as you left, but I can never seem to let you go. Don't touch my hair. When it's the feelings I wear, don't touch my soul. When it's the rhythm. Hi, sweetie pies. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I have for you guys the rubber band method for box braids. I used three packs of expression hair. It's fairly long. So right now I'm just taking off the hair holder and showing you guys that it is really not that tangle free. So um, it's okay though. So you're gonna need rubber bands, moisturizer, strengthening mist, oil to seal in the moisture and scissors to cut the hair hair clips to clip your hair out of the way so now we're just going to cut it in half oh and you're going to need a Aractel comb to make precise partings so i went on ahead and started my partings and they're just pretty much square boxes and on top I wanted them to be a little bit smaller so they're like triangle it came into a triangle in the in the middle and now I'm just showing you guys how I place the rubber bands on to my hair I just recently straightened my hair and wore it for about two weeks and I got tired of that and I need to protect my hair So it was fairly easy to get the rubber bands on them. However, the hairs, because they were a little bit more straight, got caught in the rubber bands as I was parting and getting the sections together. And that was a little annoying, but however, I got through it. So I'm just gonna finish up with this section, maybe about three more. And we're all done with this part of braiding your hair. So here's everything. It's pretty much uniform in the back. I parted the hair bigger because I wanted to get through this. I do have a total of 58 braids. I always count my braids. I don't know, that's just a thing with me. I went on ahead and braided the majority of my hair. I'm just showing you guys how I put the moisturizer on. And I split my hair into three pieces so that I have a piece of braiding hair with my hair. And I'm just showing you guys how I am braiding that. It should be uh, spaced out evenly. So I'm showing you guys again that I split the hair. I've already feathered the ends so that the ends won't be blunt. And it's easy to close the braid up on the bottom. So I'm just wrapping the hair around the rubber band. And now I'm going to turn the braid so that I can get an easy grip. I'm just showing you guys that I do have an extension, a piece of hair with my hair. So this is the very last braid. It was fairly easy guys, when I tell you it's easy grip for all you people that have 
a hard time gripping your hair, I would highly suggest that you do this rubber band method and it cuts your braiding time down in half. So I'm just showing you guys how I braid all the way down to the ends. Now that that is finished, I go on ahead and cut the loose ends for a neat look. I had more ends popping out because my hair was a little bit more straight. When I don't have my hair straight, the hair flows into the extensions uh, better. So now I'm going to take the time and dip the hair but for everyone, make sure that you proceed with caution. I can't stress that enough. I It was very, very hot. That steam was coming on my face and I was just like, oh my gosh, please don't let me drop this pitcher of boiling hot water. And I got through it and I just want you guys to be super duper careful. So now I'm just toweling it dry. And I'm showing you guys the before, how it's just stiff and it's not even moving. And now you run your fingers through it and it's just soft and light. That is it, sweetie pies. I will see you in my next video. Bye.